Engineered for Battle is a zombie robot apocalyptic survival game in which the player, an engineering student, is trapped on the north campus. To survive, the player must battle his way through a horde of zombies to the top of dice to get to the escape helicopter. To launch the game, it is fairly simple. The zip file should be extracted to the MATLAB folder. Then you can go into the folder named Engineered for Battle V5 and run it run the file name home.m. The way we tackle this program is to work in steps. We began by creating simple versions of the game. Once we were satisfied with our result, we would make remake the code, improving its efficiency, and make new additions. This process was repeated a total of five times to get our final product. The version of the game included simple text-based combat using input commands. Once we were satisfied with low with how the text appeared and the program ran, we recreated the code. This time the game featured leveling up, more monsters, and an element of chance. Both initial runs at creating the game consisted of just a single Now, we had a good idea of what we wanted from our game, and at this point, we realized we needed a reference piece to compare our game to, so we knew what the judges were expecting. Therefore, we looked at past entries. In particular, we looked at Tales from Valenia by Mitchell Ormans and learned about using multiple scripts and save load commands. With this new knowledge at our disposal, we recreated the code once again. This new version featured a map in which the player could move around in. The game was also split into multiple scripts which were called upon whenever needed. In order to transfer important variables, save files were created which stored the data and loaded it whenever needed. Once we were satisfied with how our game ran, we focused on adding more content to make the user experience more durable. Thus, for the fourth version, we at focused on adding a basic shop along with plenty of graphics. To set our game out from all the other codes, we decided to try and make a character customization screen so that players would be able to create their own character. Initially, we planned on using the alpha data command so that we could overlay transparent images over top of each other. However, this proved to be a complicated process, so instead we edited the images in a way so that they could be pieced together like a puzzle with multiple solutions. Thanks to Sal's artistic skills, he created and drew all the characters' customization. To the final version of the game, we added a story and cleared out as many of the bugs we could find. Fortunately, since we remade the code so many times, the debugging process was not extremely lengthy. The best part about our code is that we left it easy for anyone to add content and understand what we were doing. Adding another monster or adding a new point on the map to interact with isn't very difficult as there is a script for each function of the game. To add each monster. To add another monster to the game, the user, user could simply go into the monster.m file and edit it and add another monster. Through the multiple versions of our game, we were able to perfect it how we wanted it and develop a better understanding of the MATLAB program. Overall, setting up a solid core allowed us to use repetition which makes understanding the code relatively simple. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy Engineered for Battle.